Fucking night in Long Beach, California, man. We just in here doing what the fuck we supposed to do, bringing this good game right here to you, Killboy Troy, man. What's up with you, man? Oh, everything's everything's fucking beautiful, man. Everything beautiful. Yeah, man. You know we got the new facilities. Everything is lovely. Um, I know we've been gone. I, I gotta I gotta step on that. I gotta make sure. I know we've been gone for a minute, <clears throat> but we done uh, changed over, and uh, we got all new shit now, all new equipment, we got we got new facilities, man, we buy the waters, man, we doing what we supposed to do, for y'all motherfuckers, we gonna be dropping these shows on the regularity, I know I said that before, but I'm telling you right motherfucking now, <clears throat> let me drink some motherfucking water, kill boy, what's up with it? Dude, what can I say, man? It's been a fucking shit long time since I've seen you, man. I know, man. Um, it's some wild shit, man. But we still here doing this. Shout out to Courtney Love. Um, we miss you. We miss out you. Out there in Vegas. Doing her thing. But all right. You know how we get down. We always come and have a bomb agenda for you. We got our sponsors. And, um... We got uh, uh, niggas in the news, uh, uh, reader list, reader listener emails, and then we gon' we gon' give out <coughs> our uh, Oscars, so to speak, for last year, our year in awards. Even though we in February, we gonna drop them because we was late. And we just gonna run through them real quick. But anyway, our sponsors, you know who they are. Um, one Stop LB. One Stop LB in Long Beach, 2600 East Anaheim, Long Beach, California. Go through there, holler at Big Bruce or Big Jack or Young Jason. Get you some Ball Smack Streetwear. Tell them Ball Smack sent you. They gonna treat you good. Show you a lot of love. <clears throat> also, G Machine at 255 East 4th Street, downtown Long Beach. 
Go through there, holla at Sam. Tell him Ball Smack sent you. He gonna treat you good like yeah, he's supposed to. Get you some Ball Smack streetwear. You know what I'm saying? And uh, of course, this show is 100% brought to you by Ball Smack Streetwear. Go through Ball Smack Streetwear. Make sure you uh, uh, get some of our limited editions, t- limited edition t-shirts and hoodies and whatnot. You need to fuck with us. Fuck with us. Kill boy. What's up, dude? We got a lot of list of stuff to do tonight, man. Man, I mean, you know. Long list to cover. I mean, it's so many niggas in the news right now. We got a lot of niggas in the motherfucking news, man. And, um, we might as well get right into it because... The, the number one nigga in the news, man, right now, even though it's a lot of shit going on in the world, you know, you got wars going on, and like, 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 uh, like Josh was saying, you got ISIS tearing shit up, but all we can seem to talk about is Cam Newton, man, and fucking off the Super Bowl. Did you watch the Super Bowl? Oh, fuck yeah. Right. Yeah, everybody was watching the all right, man. What was your? How you felt about it? What you I mean, it was it was it was awesome. It was I mean, awesome. But I I could call it from a mile away ever since the second quarter. Okay. Who did you want to win? Keep it one hundred. You know, I I really didn't. I don't know, it was hard, it was hard to choose because none of my I I really didn't care. Like none who of the teams that I wanted to win from that go. Game. Who who you wanted to win? Keep it 100, it's all good. Keep it good. You can say Peyton Manning, I want a Peyton Manning. Yeah, well, I mean, come on, man. I mean, how how awesome would that be to be fucking like, running a solid career and then fucking ending ending with a Super Bowl and then just <laughs> drop your hat? Just, mm-hmm. you know, like, you see like this, like, it'd be like... Well, there you go, man. He, he just said, Fuck he, you. He, he's a man. <laughs> yeah, I dude. feel you. I feel you. Josh, who you wanted to win, bro? You want to who? Broncos. The Broncos? Underdogs. Hey, man, you know what, man? I heard that I, you know what? That'll be a good look for the city. I'm going to some games regardless. I'm going to Rams. Shout out to the Los Angeles Rams, man, for uh, coming to. That's, that's a nigga in the news. The Los Angeles Rams coming to motherfucking. LA man, that's gonna be. Yeah, we're when, going, when they come, we're gonna be doing some live shit from the next season, man. You Is it really? That? You didn't know that? No, I didn't know it was man, gonna be that come soon. Come on, man. You yeah, see that? The the Jet- oh, yeah, man. Shit. We got Los Angeles Rams at Inglewood, bro. Damn, we man. going to some games, man. We gonna be, that's a, that's we that gonna be Show you how fucking LA. We just... blowing Kush at the at the at the LA Rams game for sure. I'm telling you. <laughs> You know I like to free I, li- I like to freeze my water and have that piece of ice floating around in that motherfucker. So that motherfucker be and you can hear that ice in there. Man. Do you you just recently switch uh, back to water? Hey, like, what happened with your uh, aloe vera game? Hey man, I, you know what that shit had too much sugar in it, man. Aloe vera water is bomb. That shit had too much motherfucking sugar in it. I couldn't fuck with that shit. But anyway, let's keep this shit focused and going. Uh, uh, Cam Newton. We ain't even talk about it. Cam Newton um, wore Versace pants, clown, while Peyton Man and the OG sat back in the cut, reminiscing on how he got his ass beat last time he was in the Super Bowl and was like, I'm not gonna climb myself in this motherfucking game. This motherfucking youngster get out there, do what the fuck he wanna do. I know what I gotta do. Shouts out to Peyton Manning for the win. Uh, Cam Newton not diving on the fumble, man. You see, I want motherfuckers to focus on that. <clears throat> My throat fucked up, man. I don't know what the fuck happened. But anyway, focus on that, y'all. I want y'all to focus on how you could have, you could do all kind of good shit. You could do shit for your whole life you could be great your whole 
motherfucking life and in one fraction of an instant you could fuck all yours off you could just lose all your respect in an instant and the only way you can avoid that is to be true of character at all times and have principle Cam Newton principles was not there. Like in the fiery pit of win and lose, I'm I'm I wanna win. Hey man. That was a bad look, real cowardly looking. Make a nigga don't wanna dab no more, man. I you know, I, I don't even know what to say, man. This is a bad look. For niggas, I I nigga embarrass niggas. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Even though from the gate, I was like, yo, I'm fucking with Manny just because he an OG. Not even on no black, white shit, man. Like, I'm on some OG real nigga shit. Like, I'm like, oh, you know what? It ain't no way that I could go against a man who's of impeccable character as far as I could tell. Who got his ass beat last time he was here. There's no way he's gonna come into this game fucking around. Especially when you got like I said, Cam Newton, you gonna have you a long ass motherfucking season, man. I thought that was cowardly what you did. If you hear this and you don't like me, man, fuck you. So what, nigga? Uh, fuck you. You know you did some cowardly shit in that game. A lot of you let down a lot of real niggas, homie. A lot of real hood street niggas was behind you, nigga. And them niggas had to take a step back and be like, yo. Man, I, I don't know, man. I can't, I can't support that. Nigga make dabbing. Hey, motherfuckers not want to dab no more, man. I'm, I'm, st- I'm so surprised fucking he, he actually fucking went one loss the whole season. It, but, you know what I'm saying? I feel all that. The Super Bowl. I feel all that, but... How, how much he could have fucking had? Okay, I feel all of that. And I know, in the game, to me, it wasn't even... To me, they didn't even really play a bad game. To me... He was do- to me, he was doing the best he could all the way up until that point where he didn't dive on that fumble, man. I... I that's amazing to me, nigga do that type of shit. But anyway, Cam Newton, you gonna have a long season, nigga. What you gonna do? Still wish you the best of luck, though, bro. Our uh, other nigga in the news, Donald Trump wins New Hampshire. Shouts out to Donald Trump winning New Hampshire. Bernie Sanders wins New Hampshire fading. Uh, what's her name? Hillary? Is that her name? Man, ain't no bitch ever gonna be president of America, my nigga. And I know that sounds racist and sexist and a motherfucker. But in these motherfucking times, man, of war and disrespect, ain't no bitch finna be president. I don't give a fuck. And any of y'all motherfuckers watching me, get fun, fuck y'all. Ain't no bitch finna be president, man. So, Bernie Sanders looks like my grandfather. <laughs> that ain't the right look. And I got I got a cold thing. I got a cold statement for you too. Even though Bernie Sanders looks like my grandfather, him and Donald Trump are the same age. Now why does it seem like Donald Trump is more youthful and energetic? Dude, that man's made of plastic. But, you know... He no, no, actually, you know what? Fuck that. He's a, No, that is, that's a different kind of fucking... Uh, he's cryogenically, like... They put this certain crystal fucking mask on you and fucking do all this voodoo shit. Hey, man, that motherfucker got preserved. energy, though. He got energy. Cryogenically. He be, he, he be having energy talking shit, though. You see him last night? He called Ted... I mean, not last night, the other day. He called Ted Cruz a pussy. He doesn't give a fuck. I love, hey man, I'm, I ain't gonna lie, man. A lot of niggas ain't fucking with Donald Trump. A lot of niggas ain't fucking with Donald Trump. I don't give a fuck. 
hey man, I fuck with Donald Trump. I ain't saying I'm finna vote for this motherfucker, but I have been entertained by this motherfucker through this process. And I think he brought a lot of flavor to the process. And you know what I'm saying? If he lose, we gonna be thankful we got to see his ass get up, get his off like this. But I don't think this nigga gonna lose. Now, if Donald Trump becomes president, you feel me? Yeah, that's like a. That's... If Donald Trump becomes president, I'm telling you right now. World War motherfucking three and four, nigga, and five, nigga, is going up, nigga. Be ready. I, I feel that energy going, I feel that energy going in that direction. I just feel that shit. I'm not trying to be doom and gloom in this motherfucker, but I feel that shit, damn. I feel that shit. It's like, it's a lot of motherfuckers voting for Trump, nigga. You know that, right? Oh, dude, I know. It's a lot of motherfuckers voting for... It's a lot of motherfuckers voting for Trump. It's a lot of motherfuckers voting for Trump. Hey, you know what's Trump. scary, too? It's, it's There's a lot of, like, first-generation foreign foreigners. Voting for Trump. Voting for Trump. Like, the first-generation children from uh, from foreigners now. Uh-huh. Dude, look my... Filipino girl, man. They vote for her, her, her fucking father and her mom. Oh my god, it's crazy. This guy. They vote for Trump. They vote for Trump. Oh, to- yeah. Oh yeah. More I tell you. And then he called Ted Cruz a pussy in the most clever way. I I love that shit. I love it. I want him to keep talking shit. Let it all be shit talking. Fuck. All right. Our next nigga in the motherfucking news is, is is Kim Kardashian and Amber Rose are 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 are, are cool now. Uh, after a little mini war between Kanye and Wiz, ain't that kind of crazy? That's some crazy shit. After Kanye and Wiz go at it, Amber and Kim. Wave a flag and take some pictures together and be like, we cool. We mom. And Amber gets away with everything. Hey man, them bitches is motherfucking genius bitches. I love them bitches getting money out of these motherfuckers out here in an amazing. Hey, you know what? I just sent that bitch a big ass box. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I just sent her a big ass box of shit. I hope that bitch wear that shit. You know? I, you know, it's difficult to, you know, because she got some, like layers of uh, oh, systems. On, and, she got shit. You yeah, know what I mean? Time. Like, so you gotta penetrate, and then she got. That. God bless. Amber Rose rock my shit. If you if you watching this shit, you know I fuck with you, bitch. You a bad bitch. Rock my shit. And uh, Cardi B too. We got we sent some shit out to Cardi B. I rock my shit. I fuck with Cardi B. That's another nigga in the news. I, even though I ain't got that on this list right here, motherfucking Cardi B, man. You know what? I'm hold up. I'm gonna leave that off because I'm gonna talk about her in the um, in the awards. I'm gonna talk about Cardi B in the awards. So I'm gonna leave that. Off. All right. Kim and Amber are cool. After a little mini war with Wiz and Kanye that resulted in Amber coming on Twitter saying that she used to play with Kanye West's asshole. Do that sound bad? Do that sound bad? And then she she hashtag fingers in the booty ass bitch. <laughs> now <laughs> Do that sound bad? Do that sound bad? That's a badass bitch. Do that sound bad? Now, you know, um, think she was lying? Huh? Why would, why would she, why would she lie? Why would she lie? Why would she lie? All right. Now, out. 
when I saw that shit, I really wondered, was that gonna really affect him? Was it gonna be ruined? Was it gonna ruin him? But we we passed that in society now. We passed that. That can't ruin you. Nah, you gotta play that shit smart, man. That's like a chess move. So then he comes back on Twitter like the next day and says, uh, "You know, I would never do that. Me and my wife have a love that's uh, turned." Exes and the best friend. And then the next day they had a picture up. You know what I mean? So I don't know, man. I you know, I thought it was pretty clever. Um it's politics. Shots out to Yeezy. You know. Now, our other nigga in the news is Bill Cosby. Now, Bill Cosby got formally charged a couple weeks ago and I ain't gonna lie, I, I even made up a fuck Bill Cosby shirt, man. But I'm gonna tell you, I, I took that shit back. I take that back. I'm taking it back. I'm, it's not fuck Bill Cosby. I, I can't do that. He a nigga. I'm gonna fuck with him. I'm gonna believe in him. Until he get, until he get proven, until they come out and be like, we got this nigga. I'm a ride with him, you know. Um, I don't like him. I don't, I don't like how he treat niggas. I don't like that. He don't like sagging and all that proper English shit, whatever he be talking. I don't like none of that shit. I ain't like a lot of his shows in his latter years, whatever. Not Lil Bill? You never liked Lil Bill? You remember that shit? What's Lil Bill? It's like a 90s Nickelodeon little cartoon of... I think I heard about that. I think I heard about that. But I didn't... I, oh, I think I did hear about that. But I never really focused on that. All I'm saying is I'm going to give Bill the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say these these motherfuckers that made up some shit on him. And I'm going to give him benefit of the doubt. Because I heard he was trying to buy ABC or some shit. Like a whole studio or some shit up, you know what I'm saying so I don't know how true it is but you know I fuck I'm gonna stand with Bill fuck it. I'm standing ball smack top soil standing with Bill man fuck until until they drop some more shit on this thing and Kanye West came out and proclaimed his igno- his his innocence too came out and said hey I'm supporting Bill so fuck it our next nigga in the motherfucking news. Beyonce at the Super Bowl. It's a bitch. All right. Did you see the Super Bowl halftime show? I caught, you know, I caught the, uh, the Coldplay. I missed Beyonce's performance. Uh-huh. It's kind of a bummer. You saw the Bruno Mars, huh? Yeah. See how short that motherfucker is? He's fucking super short. Bruno Mars is a little ass motherfucker. I thought he was a midget. I thought he, you know, he got a big head and shit. Cause you know, like a midget. Yeah, like. I ran into him at my uh, my old job actually. Did you take a picture with him? No, no. no. He was he was practicing in one of the practice studios. Did y'all did y'all go watch him? I had to I had to go fucking. Uh, they run some cables and fix some shit up in there for him while he was fucking rehearsing for a show that he had. He was singing mom. Huh? He was, sound, he was sounding dope when he was singing. It's alright. That's Bruno dude, motherfucking dude, Mars, man. What the fuck do you mean? Seems, he's alright. Man, it's Bruno Mars, man. He, yeah. Boy, my man is crazy, man. But anyway, all right. What you think about the Beyonce performance, though? You thought it was cool, though. Right? I didn't get to see it, dude. Oh, you didn't see it? I'm tripping, man. I'm, I'm doing loops no, and shit. I'm inform hot. Inform me. Inform me. Well, you know, I've been hearing like, you know, I know a lot of bitches that hate Beyonce, so it's, it's difficult. But uh, you know, a lot of the hater bitches was like. 
fuck Beyonce. That shit was horrible. But then her fans, you know, motherfuckers who love her, was like, oh my God, I'm spiritual. I almost started crying and shit. And she made a stand. And I was like, made a stand? I, I missed the stand. You know what I'm saying? I missed the stand. I missed the stand. I missed the stand. She made a stand like Black Power and Distant Police and some shit. They talking about that shit all today. That shit was all over uh, Twitter and shit. It's crazy. You know? It's crazy. Shouts out to Beyonce, though, man. Formation. I kind of like that shit, man. I, you know, bitches be hating. Whole lot of bitches be hating on you, bitch. Keep going. Keep Just keep going, man. These bitches is going to hate your guts. Keep motherfucking going, man. Shouts out. All right. Do I, I think I got another nigga in the I can't even fucking remember, man. C- Ciara Sue's future for 15 million. Oh, shit. I forgot about that one. LOL. Ciara. Ciara. Sue's future for 15 million. For some tweets he put out. Can you imagine that shit? A bitch suing your ass, your baby mama suing you for tweets that you said about a bitch. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. Man, that is some of the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. But it's, hey man, you're living and you're learning, man. It's all good, man. I'm, I'm like, wait, what? Hey, bro. All we gotta do is go have you on record saying something about me that's not true, and I got you. The reputation. Oh shit. Oh shit. That shit crazy, man. Alright, well, yeah, man. Um Ciara giving it to her baby daddy for 15 million. That lets you know exactly how a bitch feel about a nigga. You need to learn something from that type of shit right there. That lets you know exactly how a bitch feel about a nigga. She like, fuck you, nigga, die. She like, die, nigga, die. I'm over here with my new man, nigga, die, nigga. You gonna be set... You know what? And then, see, she probably mad because this nigga clowning after uh, Seattle loss. After Seattle loss, you know, featured down on the field with Cam Newton. Hugged up. Cam Newton going to the Super Bowl. Future clown and released his album that day or some shit, man. And bitches be having some shit up their sleeves, bro. That shit crazy. But all right. Let's get it going into these reader listener emails. Reader listener emails. Now, um, we got three reader listener emails, man. We're gonna get through them, and then we're gonna go ahead and give out these year-end awards, man. I know, I know, I know. It's late as fuck, but you're gonna get this shit anyway, motherfucker. Here we go. Y'all ready for this reader listener email? Read. Y'all ready for these reader listener emails? Watch me flow and glow right here, man. A bitch from St. Louis writes the ball smack. She says, "Ball smack." I'm a real ass bitch living my life and doing what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I'm a lady. The other day, I was up in a real nice establishment where fly people be, and I met an extraordinary, and an, and an extraordinary nigga chose up on a bitch. This is a nigga that recognized me from the book. I guess that's Facebook. This nigga was icy as fuck and was outright beautiful. He followed a bitch around the club low-key and approached a bitch like me when I was coming out the restroom. We exchanged numbers, and the nigga called me the next day. The convo was cool. Then the nigga asked me if I suck dick and whatnot. 
I was cool with that type of talk. Then he got a call on the other line and asked if he could call back. I was like, cool. Then the nigga calls me back in like five minutes and hits me with, so as a bitch ready to suck this dick or what? I was taken aback. I was calm and I said, damn nigga, you funny. But I'm cool though. I holla. Then I hung up on that nigga. Then this nigga texts me back talking about, oh, you mad at me? I text this nigga back and I said, no, I'm never mad. Like I said, you funny. Then I cold turkey that nigga. That nigga texts me back about an hour later talking about, is you still mad? And I ain't responded to that nigga since. Now, ball smack. Did it? Did a bitch do right in that circumstance? Because real talk, if that nigga hadn't come at me like that, we could have done whatever he that nigga wanted to do. That sideways talk is bullshit. What do you think, nigga? Could you understand that shit? Yeah, I totally understand that shit. You heard that shit, John? All right. Um, all I can say is, is I can refer to a very, very old school term and niggas that do this, in my impression, regardless of how much wealth they have, they have no game. They, they, it really, they don't have no wisdom. You feel me? Like, cause it's cool to talk like that to bitches, but you gotta be able to size up a bitch off top and be able to know what you could get away with and whatnot. And then why even really go? I mean, I know we in a new era out here where young bitches is wild and shit. It's wild out there, man. And you know, a lot of drugs, it's a wild environment, and it's a lot of bitches that like to get talked to like that, but for the majority of bitches that I know don't like to get talked to like that, so, you know, maybe that's some St. Louis type of real nigga talk out there where they just, you know, go hard in on bitches they just met. I don't know. But the way you did that, in my impression, is real s- smooth. I appreciate that. No hostility. You just kind of jujitsu a nigga. Use his own energy on a nigga. Nigga come at you foul and wild. You just kind of use a jujitsu. Flip that nigga on his head. Nigga, really, nigga? Okay, nigga, I'm cool, nigga. Flip a nigga. And see, a nigga is really disappointed because you didn't react appropriately because he begins such favorable response because of that ice and all that shit. The niggas is rocking. When niggas be balling, they get to relying on the tools instead of just, um, they rely on the tools versus relying on their personality and letting the the, the tools augment their personality, you feel me? So a nigga be like jovial, flowing and glowing, happy. You see in the text that the bitch said she would have did whatever the nigga wanted to if he would have came at her right from the gate, you feel me? It's a matter of like what they say, you see the sheep down there in the field grazing and say we could run down there and get one or we could go down and fuck them all. You know, the, you got to be smooth. I, I know a lot of niggas, that's what you call old school term for that is pimping too hard. I mean, you're pimping too hard, you're going too hard, you just, I don't know, man. I I try to be cordial to bitches, you know what I'm saying? I'm some real shit. I try to be cordial, man. You understand me? Ain't nothing wrong with being cordial to, bitch, to bitches, you feel me? So that's all I got to say about that. Um, Our next uh, reader, listener email is uh, another bitch. A bitch from Los Angeles writes to Ball Smack. She says, Ball Smack, 
I'm a college student out here working hard, trying to make myself a better bitch. I got a main nigga. He's older, like 40. He's cool. He takes good care of a bitch. But I'm now I'm looking for a cool side nigga to fuck when I get mad at my main nigga. So I found this other nigga I thought was cool. I kept it 100 with that nigga. And I told him about my main nigga. And I asked him to keep it 100 with me. Now, mind you, I told this nigga the truth about me. This nigga told me he was single and this and that. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I started fucking this nigga at every blue moon. Then one day, his wife calls me, cussing me out, talking shit. Now, I started to go and kill a bitch. But I just got out of jail a few months ago for a DUI. But boss, man, this shit is so weak. Why can't niggas keep it 100? I don't even want to fuck this nigga no more behind this shit. I know y'all felt that. How you feel about that? What you think about that? Did you did you follow me on it? Yeah, I followed you. <laughs> Troy don't be following me, man. He be like, he don't give a fuck. Troy don't give a fuck. What the fuck? I zoned out for a second. You get fucking call me out on that shit. <laughs> It's all good. One you you, you heard me, Josh. Right you heard that shit. Show. You heard that shit, Josh. <laughs> so we got a bitch that wants to put a side nigga on the team. This is a bitch who yeah, have yeah. a nigga like like it's like your girl, it's like your girl <laughs> that you have, right? And see, oh, damn, oh damn, when your girl gets mad at you like she is right now. She goes and fucks the side nigga. You feel me? So she's looking for a cool side nigga. That's what this bitch is doing. But she hooked up with the side nigga. And she asked him to keep it 100. Tell me about yourself. Keep it 100. And he said, I'm single. I'm a whoop de whoop. So then she started fucking him. And then a few weeks later, his wife called. Talking shit. So she want to know... <laughs> Why niggas can't keep it 100? You understand what I'm talking about? Why they gotta lie and be shitty? I she's, feel a, she's the one being lying and being shitty, though. See, once again, he didn't catch it. <laughs> he didn't catch it. Why she lying? Why she being shitty? Why she, she looking being for, a, for someone on the side to fuck? <laughs> I know, huh? You right, you right, you right. He right, he right. He right. He right. Everybody is shitty. Everybody's shitty. <laughs> <It's so true. laughs> He's right. It's so true. But at least she's pure about, well, no, because she ain't told the main nigga, you right. Everybody's shitty. <laughs> Everybody shitty because she ain't told the main nigga. Fuck everybody. <laughs> I say this though, bitch. I say this though, bitch. Listen, on some real shit, um, niggas can't keep it 100 because bitches can't keep it 100. You feel me? So see, niggas be like, I can't trust this bitch. So a nigga gonna lie, you know what I'm saying? A nigga ain't got. I, I can't imagine. Very rare niggas do that. I think. Come 100, be like, yeah, bitch, I'm married. You still wanna fuck? And a lot of bitches will go for it. You know what I'm saying? That's the cold part. But a lot of niggas ain't got the heart to say that. Like, can I still fuck? I, hey, I'm married, but you know, I'm, I'm available to fuck. Nothing else. No dinner, no date. Uh-uh. Anyway, niggas can't keep it 100 because bitches can't keep it 100. That's what I say. Um, it's how it works, right? Hey, man. Um, that's some funny shit, though. But, uh, 
And now she don't want to fuck him no more because he lied. See, bitches is a trip, man. See, that's why I say a lot of certain shit you got to just tell a bitch. You should tell a bitch. You should tell a bitch up front. Like, for instance. <laughs> I'm going to quit fucking with Troy because this shit go on the air and he end up getting killed. One of them bitches killed that nigga. What? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't leak, don't leak that information out. Oh God. Okay. For my safety. Let's do this. this let's, do this <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this last reader listener email. Now this is. Uh... All right. Y'all ready for this one? Okay. What is this? All right. Now this one. This is a gangster. Uh, this is a gangsterous type of uh, email, so I want y'all to bear with me. It's gonna be all right. Follow me now. A nigga from Atlanta writes to Boss Mac. He says, "Boss Mac, I'm concerned about one of my close peoples, a close homie, and my nigga. I am not talking about myself." My close homie, the bro, we get money out here together. We pass lovely. Anyway, we get money and we celebrate with bitches. That's what we do. But we don't love these bitches. Feel me, bro? Ball smack. We was out the other night. And my homie got his nose way open by this bitch that I know is hoeing. So I told her, bro, I said, look, nigga, give this bitch a couple hundred, fuck, and get it over with. Nah, this nigga keep fucking with the bitch. Then the next week, this nigga spent his last three racks on a table for this bitch so she can pop some bottles for her birthday. This a new hoe. Now, my nigga, I forgot to mention this nigga is square as fuck. And now he out here getting money with us. But he really a L7 nigga to the max. Ball smack. This is my man. Any advice for my bro? Alright. All I could say, really, you you, buy, you, yeah. you got that? Okay. If this is your homie... All I can say really is... Um, every man work hard and get his own resources to be able to do what he want to do with his resources. You feel me? If a nigga want to take his last three racks and pay him on a bitch to pop bottles out of the table, then God bless that process. That's what he wanted to do with his money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the business of interfering with the next man spending the way he spends his money. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it don't affect me adversely. You feel me? It's hard to step in the between suckerism, man. You can't be vi it's hard, man. You gotta let shit play out. If a nigga nose is open behind a bitch, man, a nigga, you fuck around and a nigga will hate you. A nigga will dislike you from interfering. Even if you know it's for his own benefit, you gotta let it play out. Now, I know y'all do, it seem like here y'all doing some, some questionable things to get paper and you, and you concerned about the integrity of your team. I understand that. And see, in those matters, see, it's very delicate and difficult, man. See, that's why you got to keep your eye on the niggas that you bring into your fold. You got to study niggas closely. You got to find the weak link and not have him there, man, because I'm telling you, man, you never know what the depth of the next man's heart is, the next man's soul, what make that nigga move. You don't know. So... There's nothing that you could really do but get the fuck out the way, man. If a nigga want to spend his last three racks on a bitch or pop the bottles at the club, he got to let a nigga do it until he ain't got no more to do it with. <clears throat> you feel me? 
And I know that sound brutal and fucked up, but man, that's as real as I can be out here, man. And bomb the soil on your ass, nigga. But anyway, um, yeah, that was our reader listening to emails. Um, not really no intricate detail game, but just some overview game, you know what I'm saying? Trying to bring you some flavors. Now, I'm going to close y'all out with some good game for the show to go in into 2016 and let it be known where we're standing. <clears throat> Bringing out this, this good game for y'all motherfuckers, you understand me? Oh, I ain't did the I ain't did the awards and shit yet. No, you didn't. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna yeah. go into a very important section of the show where we give out our year-end awards, very motherfucking special Mac of the Real motherfucking bitch. year award. And that's surrounded by three other awards. Real Bitch of the Year, Real Nigga of the Year, and uh, Sucker Move of the Year. So four coveted awards being dropped right now by the Boss Mac Top. So I'll post it up here with my people. Kill boy, motherfucker Troy, and it don't stop. Let's get into this shit just like this right here. Our first, our first uh, award is going to be Real Bitch of the Motherfucking Year, and our nominees are as follows. We got Mother Amber Rose. We already know of her impeccable work, the job that she has done, what she has brought and wrought. All the year before, years before this, and this year she did nothing but maintain and bring it to the table. I was fortunate enough to meet a bitch at AODs and have her put her titties on me and give a nigga a hug. Beautiful bitch. Hopefully right you will see that bitch rocking some ball smack motherfucking streetwear bitch for life. You will see it. God bless that bitch. I love her motherfucking ass, real ass bitch. Amber Rose. Salute. Our next nominee put in a lot of work right on the side of Amber Rose, just like Batman and motherfucking Robin, black motherfucking China. Uh, for real bitch of the year, she emerged. I've been hearing about it for many years. I've been hearing about it, talking, a lot of talking. I've been hearing about it, a lot of talking. I ain't never heard her talk till I heard her on the Snapchat getting hers off, man, spitting that good whole bitch, real bitch talk. Bitch, I see her. I see Black China. She, Black China be spitting that real bitch talk and she be switching from savage uh, ratchet bitch to lady super lady like bitch with ease you see the bitch go back and forth man that shit is like poetry I see you bitch shouts out to black china man getting her name out there getting I think that bitch get like about I think that bitch hey that bitch get like 12 racks a show that bitch get like 12 racks to host your club so when you see that bitch at your club you better know that bitch them bitches (laughs) you feel me uh shouts out to black china got a little bar and shit you know what i'm saying now the bitch now i ain't even giving her if now black china did so good that i had to cut her off at january her activities like when january first came i had to cut it and i had to say okay everything after that don't count because after that, then the bitch put Rob Kardashian on the team. You feel me? Now, if she fuck with Rob Kardashian and let's say some shit like a bitch get pregnant by Rob Kardashian, then I'm going to be nominating the bitch for Mac of the Year next year. 
Yeah. Now, Black China did take an L when she tattooed her nigga's name on her hand, when she tattooed Future's name on her hand, but I'm going to give a bitch a pass for that because she a bitch. You feel me? So, in the, in, the, in the realm of real bitches, she slipped up right there on that. But everything else has been solid. She, you know, shouts out to Black China. I hope I didn't talk too much about the bitch. Another real bitch of the year nominee that I can't front on. Oh, man, I'm fucking up the damn shit. Another real bitch of the year that I can't front on is uh, Heather Sanders. Now, I don't even know who that bitch was until her and China start going at it. And I like the way she responded to China. When her and China was going at it on Snapchat, that shit just looked like some beautiful, uh, well-played basketball. Like, you watching Golden State and, and OKC go at it hard. You watching, like, a poetry of bitches going back and forth. Bitch, you whoop de whoop 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 bitch. What, bitch? Bitch, you whoop de whoop 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 whoop. It was beautiful. Shouts out to Heather Sanders. I ain't even know who the bitch. I like the way the bitch was. The bitch was talking nice on her Snapchat. She was talking nice, like, yeah, having a nice day. And then she noticed Black China was looking at her shit. That bitch activated into real bitch. Started spitting that talk. The ball smack topsoil like that real bitch talk, nigga. I was like, oh, shit, man. Shouts out to Heather Sanders, man. She's up for that. Now. Our final nominee is a breakout bitch that I ain't never even heard before, man. But that bitch broke out of the nowhere and came on the scene. It was refreshing to the ball smack top for it. I'm talking about none other than Cardi motherfucking B, man. Cardi B, real bitch of the year nominee, man. Beautiful little bitch coming up out of New York. Very special, man. First came across, the homie put me up on her, said, man, you need to pay attention to this bitch because she's spitting that talk that you, talk that you be liking, that talk. So I was like, yo. I looked at that bitch and I was like, oh, man. Oh, man. I just fell in love with a bitch, man. Right in the heart, man. Real bitch, man. You, you can know, you can smell a real bitch in the air, man, around you, man. You be looking around. You know when you see a real, when you hear a real bitch talking, man, you know. You, you hear that, man. And I can hear the real bitch in her voice, man. I'm trying to told y'all niggas don't know, man. Shout out to Cardi B, man. Real ass bitch. I like the way she broke out. I like the game she got for bitches. I like her 100-ness. Man, I done sent her a box too, man. God, I hope she get that box, man. And bless. All my all my gear, all the shit I make, this shit right here, this shit go with real bitches. I make clothes for real bitches and real niggas, man. I'm telling you, man. Anyway... Cardi B, man. All right, now, our winner, you know, I'm torn, man. I was torn. I was torn. I was torn. But I'm I'm, I'm going to have to give it to Black China. And I'm going to give it to Black China because... You know, I've been hearing about a bitch. I've been hearing about a bitch. I've been hearing about a bitch. And the bitch is living well because of the shit she has done in the past. I heard her talk. I like what I heard. I like her mouthpiece. I like that bitch. I like Black China. I like that. I like that. So, shouts out to Black China. Real bitch of the year. Ball smack. No sis lie. What's up with it? How you feel about it? Yeah, I'm just you, faded. You, you faded. Faded and tired. Troy faded, tired, ain't even listening to the ball smack, yeah, spit I this talk. The- it's all good. Awesome, My feelings ain't hurt. I still spit that I'm, good. Ju- I'm just not all in the know-how with all with all Black China, Heather Sanders, and Cardi B. He doesn't know about Black China and Cardi B. You, you see what I'm saying? That's why we got this man here, man, because he bring that alternative vibe. All right. 
Real Nigga of the Year. Now, this is a coveted award because Real Nigga of the Year is like a special position, man. You're up high. You're up high. Real Niggas, Real Nigga of the Year. Very special. Our first nominee, Kanye motherfucking West, man. I'm going to nominate him for that because... You know, the nigga done got, nigga came up on the Adidas deal, he done transformed Adidas, got Adidas looking good as Nike out there, you know what I'm saying, say whatever, do whatever, shout out to that nigga, man, I like what them niggas doing, I like how he came out, said I'm running for president, I like how he had the royal family up there, man, I fuck with Kanye. He's having a good year. He a very good year. New son. Shots out to that nigga, man. The only flaw is that bitch saying she played with his asshole. That's the only thing, man. It's just, uh, man, I, I, you know, I just hope, I, and you know it's probably true, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing, bro. Whew. That's the only thing. Easy. You be impeccable if that bitch didn't put that on. That's like a little piece of shit on the thing. Like, right there, man. Smell it, too. It's hot in the room. You smell that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Damn, man. Our next real nigga of the year nominee goes to Baby from Young Money. Now, you know we got to salute Baby because no matter what, Baby Punk Wayne, period. This whole year, Wayne come out complaining, crying, talking about, ah, oh, they taking my money. I want to leave. I'm a slave. I'm a yeah, nigga. Yeah, whatever, nigga. Whatever, nigga. Can't leave young money, nigga. Baby over there, like, that's my son. That's my son. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going nowhere. You feel me? Yeah, that's my son. Yeah, shouts out to baby man. Um, real ass nigga taking them niggas money, taking all them niggas money over there, man. On some gangster shit, you better believe it. That nigga man, you know about baby, huh? You don't know who baby is. This dude only knows EDM. You gotta what? Yeah. Man, all he knows EDM. Wait, you know more than EDM? Huh? You know. You know, you had divi- diverse music. Mm-hmm. Kind of. Kind of. You know, I got that, got that kind of like, uh... Hey. I listen to hey, my shit, Hey, EDM, jazz. Li- EDM lifestyle. Follow me on the jazz. ground, bro. You know that, right? New jazz. Fucking that new future sound. Fucking... Hey, you see that? What? EDM lifestyle. Follow me on the ground. Oh yeah, yeah man, nice, like big, dude. bro. I put that. You I kept out with them. I man. kept that up there so more motherfucking EDM motherfuckers are following me and shit. Yeah. And there's a whole spectrum of EDM music though. I, fu- I want I want the EDM motherfuckers to come fuck with Ball Smack man and buy some Ball Smack streetwear on the real man. I wouldn't even know about that shit if it weren't for you, bro. I appreciate you putting me up on the. I listen to a lot of and man. all that shit. He's been having a good year too. Skrillex, Skrillex and Diplo doing their fucking Jackie shit. I fuck with them on the ground, bro. I fuck with them for real. Yeah, they've had a fucking big ass year too, dude. All right, sucker move of the year. Now, sucker move of the year is an award that we give out to the motherfucker who did the most profound sucker move of the year. We have our nominees. Our first nominee. Rick Ross for his engagement to Lyra Galore, a known stripper and hoe. Once again. I fuck with Rick Ross, man. He is an excellent writer and poet and performer. This dude can rap. He makes he is cinematic gangster real nigga talk specialist. That's why that nigga so paid in 
he will always be paid because that nigga know what the fuck he doing, right? However, he is still a correctional officer, weenie nigga inside. So that nigga right there is the one that fucks with bitches like Lira Galore and wife them and Lil and Lyle. You know what I mean? Never forget that. Rick Ross is a regular man with really good writing skills and performance skills. You feel me? Shots out to Rick Ross. Our next sucker move of the year is your boy Chris Brown chasing Carucci around downtown Los Angeles after that bitch found out he had a baby. Now, Chris Brown got plenty, 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 bitch. But, you know, Karuchi is a top bitch, man, and those are rare. It's very rare that you have a real bad top bitch like that. Getting on to Tiger. Suck a move of the year. Yeah. Tiger. Tiger pulls up in front of the club with Kylie Jenner for Halloween. And he gets out the SUV with his costume on. And then she don't get out the SUV. And then finally, the SUV drive around the back and they just leave that nigga out there in the front. And then he just had to get in. Now, see, that's a bad look. That's a bad look. No matter what, you know where this is going. I, I feel like, you know, it's, that's a bad look. I feel like Tiger gonna get ate up by that bitch. That's she gonna be his first victim, and she gonna get some stripes off of that nigga. But anyway, Tiger's put out the SUV in front of the club, and they go around to the back. It's a bad look. That's a sucker move. Chris Brown chasing around Karuchi. I, we spoke on that. Okay. The winner of all of that right there, man, on some real shit, man. It's Rick Ross, man, because he really marrying a bitch. He's locked, that's locked in, man. These other niggas had one moments. Now, I feel like Tiger is going to see some real way out shit in the future, man. In a not too distant future, I think he's going to get, I think he's going to get handled by that bitch. I just got a feeling, I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be hating on a nigga. He a cool nigga to me. I just feel like he going to be the first. That bitch going to get some stripes off of that. And she going to move on to another great nigga. Probably Bryson Tiller, one of them motherfuckers. But anyway. Sucker move of the year, Rick Ross, Marion, Lyra Gore, Lyra Galore. Nigga, you know you a sucker for doing that. All right. Our coveted award, coveted award of the year. Our most coveted. Mac of the year. I've given this out many times. Prominent, prominent names come to mind. K Fed. Huh? Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose. Guy Ritchie for his impeccable work with Madonna. Luminaries. You feel me? This year is a very special year. Because I'm telling y'all right now, right now, this year, 
we have more men involved in this one and i'm very happy about that i'm ready to begin right now let me tell you the first nigga on this list for mac of the year is none other than kanye motherfucking west now oh i didn't finish real nigga of the year did i the real nigga did, did we, what happened no we're, we're on mac of the year but we didn't finish real nigga of the year yeah we did no because I, I did kanye west baby and then i i didn't finish because then it was diddy and obama was the other nominees Diddy I, I, I hate to switch like this let me switch back to real nigga of the year cause I don't know how we lost track of that something must have happened something must have happened alright real nigga of the year we nominated Kanye West Baby our third nominee Diddy Cause all the shit he did this year, plus putting hands on that UCLA football coach and nothing happening. And Obama for having uh, President Obama for having Kendrick Lamar at the White House, acknowledging how much the dollar costs. Very epic moment. Shots out to Obama. Real nigga of the year award. On some real shit, I'm gonna go on and give it to Obama for having um, for having this nigga at the White House. I I, I thought that was real in, the, in these times to acknowledge the nigga like that. I'm gonna go ahead and give it to Obama for that man. Shouts out to Obama. That's the real nigga of the year. Like I said, Rick Ross. Uh, Ricky Rose, not the not the one that sell drugs, but the 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 one that rap. Sucker move of the year, Marion Lira Galore. Mac of the year, let's take it back. Mac of the year, our nominees, illustrious. Kanye motherfucking West. You know what he's done. He's got to deal with Adidas, $10 million, making Nike look bad. Beautiful. Influencing all style. Everybody's doing what the fuck he say. Top of the pile musically. Got people flipping around when he dropping his shit. You gotta fuck with Kanye. This is where he's really Mac of the year. Let me name out his true Mac. This is, this is really what really put him on this thing right here. It's beautiful. Kanye West has complete control over the royal family. I repeat, Kanye West has complete control over the royal family. Meaning, this nigga is releasing music through Kim Kardashian's motherfucking 60 million motherfuckers following her on Instagram. You feel me? Nigga got the number one bitch in the world is his bitch. The number one bitch in the world is his bitch. Think about that. The number one bitch in the world is his bitch. Now I'm going to give you some more shit to think about. The number three and the number four and five bitches is also in that family and they are also on his team Kylie Jenner just turned down a multi million dollar Puma deal this nigga just shitted on Puma on the fucking Twitter Puma is not take your measly millions back Kylie is team Yeezy motherfucker man if that ain't macking at the highest pinnacality of macking, then what the fuck is macking? You feel me? 
Kanye motherfucking West running for pre- the only blemish that he has is this Amber Rose fingers in the ass shit that's the only thing and it didn't even have to come out if that nigga wouldn't have got into it with Wiz like that if he would have just relaxed and wouldn't have got turned up on Wiz this would not he wouldn't even have that blemish but that's a cold blemish. That fingers in the ass is a cold blemish. That's a cold blemish. <sighs> Our next nominee. Don't fuck around. DJ Khaled. Y'all feel the energy, the movement. Y'all feel the energy, the movement. They don't want you to fuck with DJ Khaled. They don't want you to be going to his Snapchat. They don't want you to know that when you get Snapchat, you get DJ Khaled automatic. They don't want you to know DJ Khaled got finger licking chicken, finger licking out there with that red velvet cake. Huh? They don't want you to know that DJ Khaled don't fly on planes. He just be on that bus everywhere he got to go, getting there real fast, getting that money in, huh? Shouts out to DJ Khaled. I'm fucking with you, bro. I fucks with you, man. You upped your status this year, man. You really did. I like what you're doing. Shouts out. Now, our next nominee for Mac of the Year is none other than Welvin the motherfucking great. Now, I'm going to tell y'all motherfuckers straight out, first hand, straight out. I fuck with Welvin, the motherfucking great. That's the little homie. I, I done fuck with him on multiple occasions and been able to bless and have him rock a lot of my gear on a regular basis. I fuck with that nigga. I done been up in the club with this nigga. I done seen him working. I done seen him hollering. Do not sleep on this motherfucker's level of confidence. This is one of the most confident niggas that I have ever seen in my life. Even if it's found, I don't know what it's founded on, but I'm going to tell you, man, that nigga does not for one minute believe that he ain't supposed to have a lot of bitches. That nigga fully believes that he's supposed to have a lot of bitches. He really hollering at bitches. He ain't playing. If he see a bad bitch, that nigga will go over there and put in his motherfucking bed right now, nigga. He will put in his bed with a bitch in front of her, man. I had seen him do it. Let me get y'all. Let me get y'all a case in point. I don't know if I put this in. A, I might have put this in a podcast. I don't know if I did. But we was at the powerhouse this last year, man. And that's when I first seen Welvin up close, man. And he was backstage, and my people was like, take a Welvin. I'm like, who the fuck is that nigga? So, long story short, I seen Kanye came in there. He was performing at that, so he came through with his entourage. He a way out looking motherfuckers. He had Chanel Iman in there. He had some exotic ass bitches. So this one dude and this bitch peeled off from the group and was posted out there by us. They had on the Yeezys and shit. So, you know, um, um, you know, I see Welvin over here, the homie, like, yo, they go Welvin right there, watch this, check this nigga out. Welvin whispers some shit to his manager, he's like, yo, watch my back, I'm about to go over here and holler at this bitch, watch my back, make sure this nigga don't get out of pocket. Then this nigga just went over there to this bitch while she was with her nigga and was like, excuse me, baby, you know, uh, I just wanted to come over and holler at you right quick, you know, see you over here looking good, you, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get your number and shit so I can call you. That bitch was like, this is my man right here. Welvin was like, oh, oh, homie, my bad, bro, but you know your girl look good, man. You know, I hope you don't mind, you know, if I just get her number right quick, man, so I can call her. 
Man, I was like, after I saw that, I was motherfucking sold. I didn't see shit on the internet. I didn't see him do not one skit on the internet first. I seen it in reality. I seen that nigga holla at out. This was a bad bitch. Shots out to Welvin, the motherfucking great. I done been up in the club with Welvin, seen this nigga, this nigga be crowd surfing on bitches in that motherfucker, man. Shots out to Welvin, the great. And our lone female nominee this year is the great Kylie Jenner. What could I say about Kylie? Kylie took Tiger from Black China, straight up. And she's in the process of going through Tiger. And we'll be finished with him soon, I think. Mark my words. Shout outs to Kylie Jenner. Now. When I look at this award, man, and, you know, I want to give it out. I'm mad. I'm mad about that blemish on Kanye thing. I'm mad about that. I don't like that. But Kanye West is Mac of the motherfucking year, man. This year, man. He's, he did a lot. Came up. The bitches worked for him. I, I don't know how else to define Mackin. When you got Kim Kardashian as your main bitch, and then you got her sister Kylie too, and Kendall, and the rest of the bitches. This nigga. Mac of the year, man. Salute that nigga, man. Salute that nigga, man. Salute that weirdo ass nigga. You a weirdo, Kanye. But you mackin' the motherfucking year over here, man. I fuck with you, nigga. I fuck with your music. I fuck with the clothes. I fuck with your bitches. It's tight. It's tight, nigga. Keep going, nigga. And that's just my year end awards right there. Cut and dry. Any words? It was a good year, man. You was feeling it? Good year? 2015. 2015, man. 2016 is gonna be even more interesting, dude. Hey, man, you gotta stay awake. We about to drop the good game section, the portion, and we gonna leave it at that. This first inaugural show in the new studio, House of Ball Smack Studios, my nigga. Yeah. All right. Um. Good game. Good game. You know, I was thinking about this shit, man, and. Uh, I had a I had a lot of niggas come to me in the off season right here, man, and be like, you know, Bob Smack, you know, I got this bitch, man, but she foul, but I love her, but this bitch foul, and man, you know what I'm saying? You know what can I do, man? What I. I just can't take it, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, she keep coming back, man. It's going and coming back, man. I can't shake this bitch, man. And I want to shake her, but I can't. I feel bad. I don't want to shake her. You know, I keep telling motherfuckers, man, all this shit out here comes down to, like, who can live without who? You know what I'm saying? Can you really live without that bitch? At all. Like, no contact. You know what I'm saying? Can you live without that bitch? Because I got some news for you, man. If you can live without a bitch... You could do some things. You could you 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 could emancipate yourself. You could you could um, you could free your mind. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers.
can't live without a bitch. Like, they can't live without that bitch. You know what I'm saying? It's like an attachment. It's like a spiritual attachment. Nigga can't function without the bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? And all of this ultimately comes down to who can live without who. Because if I can't tolerate you as a person, can I live without you? You know what I'm saying? This is why I pride myself on being my own best company. My own, you know. Me personally, I, you know, I'm strange. I'm a weird motherfucker, man. I'm type of motherfucker enjoy being by his side. I enjoy being alone. You know, I like being alone, blowing cush. You know what I'm saying? Meditating on whatever it is that, that has to be meditated upon. You know, on some real shit. You know, I I feel like you know if a bitch is foul, a bitch is foul. If a nigga is foul, a nigga is foul. You know what I'm saying? motherfuckers can't live without them then you gotta endure you feel me you know it's, it's man who can live without who man who can live without who you know what I mean it's, 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 that's, the, that's the reality like if you a nigga that sit at home and you can't let that bitch go, then what are you? You a slave to the bitch. You know what I mean? If you a bitch and you can't let that nigga go, slave to the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Who can live without who? Who can live without who? I'm my own best motherfucking company. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at with it, man. That's what we do. That's what we are, man. You know what I'm saying? But I love people. I'm a people motherfucker. But I'm my own best company at the end of the day. And um, and that's where a lot of a lot of strength is found right there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know? Something to think about starting off 2016, man. Hey, y'all, I want y'all to know one thing, man. I know I said it's a lot, man. I know I said it a lot, man. But we are really about to start getting these motherfucking shows out there fast on your motherfucking ass. I'm telling you. I want y'all to fuck with us on uh, on the gram. Go to at Ballsmacknosis Live. Follow us on the gram. All us is there, you know what I'm saying? Everybody affiliated, fuck with us. We got Josh Money in the building, Killboy Troy. Shouts out to uh, Courtney Love out there in Vegas. She gonna be back soon, Big Jack. We gonna be bringing in some new, uh, we got some new uh, guests um, already uh, scheduled up. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's gonna be lovely, man. I'm gonna bring y'all some inside comps and shit. Some some intricate easy e shit in a minute. You know, it's gonna be good. Shouts out. Ball Smagnosis Live. Did we leave anything out? Did we leave some shit? Oh, gone but not forgotten. On the close out. I wanna say uh rest in peace to Alan Rickman. Um I know motherfuckers is like on him from uh, fucking Harry, Potter. Harry Potter, but I'm fucking with him from 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 Die Hard. That was my nigga in Die Hard. Yeah, the first one. That's you know what I'm saying? Hard. Shouts out to Alan Rickman, man, the best, uh, coolest, icy, bad, the evil motherfucker. Hey, man, can't can't be no shittier than that. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out. Shout out to Lemmy and fucking David Bowie too. Now, who is Lemmy? Lemmy from Motorhead. 
Lenny from Motorhead. I thought, thought I Lenny. Lenny from Motorhead. And then. Dude's a, dude's a fucking rock metal legend. And then old boy from the Eagles. Yeah. yeah. I remember some of them songs. They was tight. And then, uh, ultimately, David Bowie. Because I fucked with David Bowie. And I, I remember I thought David Bowie was gay. Then David Bowie had a supermodel wife on a nigga. Huh? He been married four times? Yeah, the whole time. Bad bitch. Bad bitch. And I'm I'm just gonna say, man, uh, on David Bowie, like, on some real shit, man, like, him, David Bowie, somebody else died. We all died. David Bowie and oh Maurice White now David Bowie to me though man that motherfucker changed up his whole shit multiple times and motherfuckers to do that I have to acknowledge them like Miles Davis and shit motherfuckers to change their whole shit into some other shit and then for David Bowie the way he went out the way he uh you know, dropped the album two days before he died, man. Like, man, I really would like to go like that. Let me go up out of here like that. Working at the highest level, still relevant compared to now, still in sync with the times. Let me be able to do that shit right there. That's that, uh, that's that Andy Warhol type of shit. I, I'm fucking with it. I, got, I just want to be cracking all the way to the end like that, man. That's, that's, shouts out to David Bowie. Rest in peace. And then finally, Maurice White. Now, you know, I'm an older motherfucker, man. So I'm going to tell you, man, Maurice White was like, that was his childhood out here, man. Like, cleaning up the house, mom. Cleaning up the house, man. All that earth, wind, fuck, man. They album covers, the homies just sit around and look at the album covers, try to figure them out. All the Egyptian shit, the symbolism. Man, Maurice White was a tight motherfucker, man. Uh, Earth, wind, motherfucking fire. So, that's it. The year end show. Uh, I'm easing up on Bill Cosby, man. I'm easing up on Bill Cosby. Gentlemen, thank you for coming out. The Top Mac Nigga Show is a Ball Smack Industries production. Put your hands together for a special musical guest. I ain't gonna even say no names. DC at first. Save you. Your beauty deserves dedication. You're my medication. But you sick of the games I be playing. I swear that I'm changing. You tell me you hate my profession. And you talk to your fans. But shit, I learned my lesson. I swear that I did. I feel like a usher. I'm trying to collect it. Now ain't that ironic. We fucked the confessions. I swear you my blessing. Just look how it got us affected. Got us affected. All this lack of, affection. lack of affection. It just leads to destruction. I swear that it do. I hate you. I hate you. I love you. I love you. I need you. I need you. No fuck you. No fuck you. You leaving? You leaving? Like damn what you doing? Damn what you doing? The games that we playing. The games that we playing. I swear the confusion is just an illusion. Uh, Cause we made for love. We fight together. Then you break it up, I let you down, then you make it up, you gave a lot, I thought I gave enough, but she was fake as fuck, and that's real, cause we made for love, we fight together, then you break it up, I let you down, then you make it up. Eventually, we have to tell each other.
I just know what the fuck it is I want. 